Hi guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy and today I'm going to review a new camera we just picked up. And I'll tell you why we picked this up in a minute, but the camera that we picked up is called a Canon Vixia HFG40. And this is a camera that we've uh, really wanted to get to uh, enhance the, the videos that we have been doing in the past. And so, the Vixia comes in a pretty small box and what we like about it is it's still a very powerful camera but has a lot of capability of the professional cameras. This is the camera right here. It's called the Canon Vixia G440 uh, and typically um, you'll see it with It's a little um, hood on here. So let me tell you, I'll uh, give you some close-up of, of the camera in a minute. And so what we're recording this on is a Canon Vixia HF R600. And that's the camera that we reviewed about a half a year ago. And we still love that camera. But, um, and it, it's really nice because it's compact and it does a 57X advanced zooming which is still digital and what we want is to start moving into better optical zooming. The G40 has a 20x uh, optical zoom range and a 400x digital range. We want the opti uh, optical for the uh, quality so Right here, I'm just going to show you a sample of the two different cameras zooming in. The first camera would be the Canon R600, which we have today, which zooms in closer. And then I'm going to let you see what it looks like to zoom in with the G40. So this is a zoom-in test outdoors to show you the difference between our old Canon Vixia R600 and what it's going to look like with the Canon Vixia G40. So what I want to show you here is I'm going to zoom in on my canopy in the backyard here using the zoom and just kind of show you what it looks like with the zoom and the color and the visibility kind of hard to hold it still when you're down that way and we're going to bring it back Like so. So that's the Canon Vixia R600. This is the Canon G40 Vixia and it only has a 20x zoom, optical zoom. And we're going to look at the same thing coming in on my canopy. Okay, so now that you've seen that, <laughs> you can see there's a quality difference, but the uh, R600 is still a great little camera for us to take uh, when we're on the trails and, and it fits in a pocket very well and it's just a great camera so uh, before I uh, zoom in on this table I just wanted to make sure and let you know what we're trying to do is have a camera that's still very easy to carry it's not too big and I'll, I will give you a closer look at this later it's still a, it is a, a bigger camera and it's definitely heavier but uh, uh, what I once again like about it is it's got the optical zoom, built-in stabilization, but most of all, it has manual mode. And if you've seen one of our videos in the past, and I'll put a link to it on the screen here, we did a video called Stillhead Falls, and we have some bonus material on there. And I told you on that video that we had professional cameras back then, and this is kind of what motivated me to move on to a little better camera. The cameras we were using back then were much more expensive, but times have changed. This camera will do everything I want to do and still be very mobile and not be overburdened with a big camera. So the big thing is it can go manual. And what, for example, doing video when you want something that's out of focus in the background and something focused in. If, um, the new G40 allows you to 
change settings on here the way you want to do it but it also allows you to do manual focusing and you can get away from all the automatic features to really enhance your sh uh, your shots so what I'm going to do now is switch over so you can see a little closer view of what I have here. So while we're recording this, we are also using the audio that's built into the camera. So I want you, I'm trying to show you the differences between our camera we're using right here to record this, which is the R600 Canon. And then we're going to switch over and let you have a chance to see this table um, using the G40 and see if you can see the differences. The other thing that this camera is supposed to be famous for is enhanced uh, optical ability for low light. So I'm hoping that we can demonstrate that with this show. So what I really like about this camera is I love this hood because I don't I, I know you have to take the lens cap off but when you have a hood sometimes it's really hard to have something to cover it. As you can see the hood on this is covered and it has a switch right on the side, which opens it right up. Once again, I want to remind you, this is a 20x optical zoom. The other thing feature on here is if you change the manual, is right here is where you'd focus for uh, do, doing manual focusing. Like the G, uh, like the R600, it's got some similarities as far as how this uh, this area works. It actually holds two SD cards, which we put a 64 gig one in here. I've never filled up a, a 64 gig, but if I start having that problem, I can easily add another chip in here. Uh, they just go right in there. Uh, the other thing that's kind of unique here is this camera also comes with a remote. And basically all I have to do is press a button and I can operate the camera manually or I can use a remote control to do it, which, uh, which is kind of nice if you want to make sure you're not moving the camera at all, things like that. So I'm not going to go into every operation of this camera, but I'm going to tell you why we want it for RV Travel Buddy. The next thing that's really critical to me is the viewer. Now I know if you, any of you folks are doing video recording now, the biggest <laughs> drawback is glare. So I know this this camera is going to have the same problem with glare as long uh, just like our other cameras. That's why we also wanted to move to the new viewfinder and these are really nice because they just pop out, tilt, and now you have a video camera that you could either use with the view, uh, viewer or you can use it with an uh, eyepiece. And this is what really makes the difference for me is I don't know how many times we've taken shots of mountains and things like that and I can't see if I'm on the target because of the glare. So this is very exciting to us to have the, the eyepiece now. <coughs> this thing I, 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 I highly recommend if you're going to get this kind of camera to make sure you get extra batteries with it, which we did. Um, a charger to go with it. And... <laughs> As you can see, I'll show you some of the things that come with it. Uh, the zoom is right here, very easy to get to. Um, so you can see your fingers naturally touch the zoom just fine. So to record, the button's right here, very easy to get to. It also has a very easy to understand menu and uh, moving around to change your settings. This will record in. Uh, two different kinds of, uh, uh, you can do the MP4s or you can do the ACH um, type of video. I, I don't even use that so I didn't say it correctly but I like the MP4s. Uh, so I, um, oh it's AV, AVC HD format or the MP4s. We picked the MP4s because it's just for me easier to work with and I don't have to do any more conversions. This also has Wi-Fi capability and I haven't played with that yet. We actually just got the camera so we're uh, still learning a lot about it. For your connections, right here is where if you want to uh, charge the battery while it's still in the camera 
you can plug in on the side and, and actually be powered by the outlet. And this also has the capability, um, or this would also be your video out if you wanted to use it that way. Uh, I don't typically use my cameras that way. My other controls are up front here. And this is where you can put exterior microphone, which I'm not using on purpose on this show so you can hear the video, uh, the audio difference in the two cameras. This also has your set uh, hookups for uh, connecting to your computer, connecting directly to a television, and also sound capabilities. <coughs> so basically, that's the camera. I'm really in love with it. Some of the other things that come with the camera is all your basic settings for hooking up to a television, your connection for hooking up to your computer, also uh, uh, another uh, using HDM, uh, HDMI um, cable, and obviously the power source. So if you want to plug into the wall with this <coughs> to charge your battery here, uh, not a problem. Uh, this stuff is kind of bulky. I like to try to keep all my stuff in small bags and easy to carry, especially if I'm going down trails and stuff. So we basically bought a, a Sony bag for our Canon, and everything I need will fit in here just great. So that's the Canon G40. And so what I want to do now is switch over and let you see the difference between the two cameras. So now we switched over to the G40. You're seeing it a little farther away. What I want to show you is we do have some light studio lights, but I want you to see how much the colors and how much the uh, uh, less effort there seems to be to deal with low light. Uh, the camera that we were just using was the Canon HD um, uh, HF R600. It's been a great little camera for us. I like it because it's really small and easily fits in your pocket. I don't know how many times I've carried this camera right here and it's really nice for hiking around and then you see something in the distance. It does have the 57X advanced zoom but it is digital. Um, and you, when you do zoom in you're going to lose quality. So with optical you're not going to lose that quality. So that's the difference between the two cameras. So. I, I still want to reassure you we really do like the Canon uh, R600 for its just small design and easy to carry around and if you're an active person um, going down trails and stuff you need something quick and easy this is definitely the camera it retails for around $250 the Canon which you're watching the G40 you're watching me through right now uh, once again, I'm using the built-in audio on the camera. I'm not using anything uh, to uh, so you can hear the sound. Uh, it's supposed to have much better sound and a much more advanced chip in it to uh, handle uh, low light, and we're really thrilled about that. So, uh, both of these cameras, you can ex uh, hook up a external microphone to it. Not a problem. So. I highly recommend this for <laughs> your hiking and all that kind of stuff. The G40 retails uh, for about $1,250 uh, once you get all your support equipment for it, extra uh, a chip, and you get your bags for it. And I also got extra battery and charger. I like to have. I don't like to carry a lot of bulky stuff, so this kind of stuff will not be in my bag. What I will do is have my uh, extra batteries fully charged, ready to go in this bag with my camera. And a lot of this equipment type stuff I do not put in my bag. Uh, with the exception of uh, this remote's going to go for sure, and definitely being able to hook up to my computer if I need to download files quickly. So, that's the review of the new Canon HF G40 camera that we're using now for RV Travel Buddy. I hope that was helpful to you. I'm looking forward to having shows in the future with the new camera. 
and we'll try to point out, and we kind of do it on purpose uh, on our shows, we'll tell you when we're using our gimbals, when we're using the camera, the, the cannons, uh, when we're using um, GoPros, just to help you out finding out what kind of equipment you want to use. So I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest. I want to thank you for watching, and that's the Canon HF G40. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services. RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences. RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future. The insane RV360 videos, our amazing RV.TV, where amazing stories come from RVers, and last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.